Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay, forgive my voice. Like I said, I'm sick. But, um, I took my medicine, but I'm a little bit loopy. So, bear with me. But I'm here. And I'm doing it. <laughs> Alright. Once you get all three of your uh, pieces made from yesterday, the way you want to put it together, leave a really, really, really long tail. Okay. The way you want to put it together is this. You want to come in and you want to pinch it together like this. Now, you can take um, stitch markers. And you can pin it every so many. But with that really long tail, you want to put your darning needle on it. And you want to just whip stitch it up. All the way to the other end. And just keep getting it and pinching it right in the middle. Or... Like I said, stitch markers. But that's how you sew them up. My suggestion is, once you get it sewed up, fold it up on itself flat. Wrap yarn up around it. And just, just keep folding it back and forth, back and forth. But not, I mean, you ain't got to do it that small. But, um, wrap yarn up around it so it stays flat like that. And then start working on your bow. Just leave these three like this and start working on your bow. That way, when you go to braid them, well, they lay flat. They're not twisted because you want the seam in the back when you go to braid them. Okay, hold on just a minute and uh, I'll come back to, to, to help you with the bow. All right, I'm back. Okay, the bow. You're going to do the bow pretty much the same way that you did the, the three braid pieces. You're going to start off with a slip knot. All right. And then you're going to chain 13. Seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Because you want 12. Yeah, because I like a big bow on my, my project. So, if you want your, your bow piece to be narrower, by all means, do it. It don't got to be just like mine. Okay. And I'm going to come down here into the second bump. Because, you know, the first bump is your turning chain. I just split my yarn. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to work a single crochet. Okay. And then I'm going to work a single crochet all the way down this line. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to work a single crochet all the way back down. And I'm going to chain one and work a single all the way back down. And I'm going to do that for 60 rows. I find that to be the, the best length for this size bow. But like I said, if you want your bow to be narrower here, I wouldn't chain... Or I, I wouldn't do 60 rows because then it's going to be 
skinny and really, really wide. But, anyway, so, yeah. And that's all the, the big part of the bow is. Um, <laughs> okay. Putting the bow together. I'm just going to use this piece because I've, I've got uh, 61 stitches on it, but it's fine. Okay, it doesn't matter what side you use because you're going back and forth and back and forth. So both sides look the same. So, because you want this to have the same pattern as the pieces that you um, did to braid. So what you do is you take your bow once you get the the length that you need you just fold these pieces together take your tail here put your darning needle on it and just like you did the other just whip stitch it together because this part's not gonna be seen just like the back of the the braided pieces that's not gonna be seen so it doesn't matter how you do it just do it yeah um Anyway, once you get that done, go back to one of these and do one, let's see, I'd say about three rows, but you want, you want to tie on, on both sides. That's why I say do three rows because You'll have a tie on this side where it's started. And if you do an odd number of rows, your tie will be on this side. I think. Wait a minute. One, two, three. No, do an even number. <laughs> yeah. See, I mess up too. Anyway, do an even number. And that way you'll have a, a an end piece on both sides because all you do then is just like I showed you with the uh, the baby cardigan you just take this well most of the time I do it from this side anyway and you just put it over it and cinch it together but I like to do it this way I like to push my fingers down right here and then pull it together and then wrap my thing right here and tie it in the back okay the reason why is because then I get that little crease right there and it just looks prettier to me and you can just fluff that part up and yeah but if you cinch it like that that, that little crease right there comes in. So, just hold these. Put your fingers down right here. And just cinch it like that. And put your thing around it. Tie it. Boom, done. Alright, now. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. To show you how to do the um, the tail pieces of your um, your bow. Because we're just going to do them individually and sew them on the back. Because nothing from the back side of the bow is going to be shown. It's going to be hanging on the door, the wall, or whatever. So you ain't got to worry about pieces being shown that where you whip stitched it together or whatever but and then that that'll be it i'll just then get your clothes hanger and whip stitch it on it and boom you're done yeah it it's really simple all right so 
I'll meet you back here tomorrow for another grand adventure right here in Valjean Room. Do something nice for somebody. And um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it if you did so. And uh, give us a, a, a like that lets me and YouTube know whether you like me or not. And um, share if you can. Other people out there that you know might want to find out about Val's Yarn Room and what kind of fascinating things we're doing here. And leave me a comment. Let me know if you understand what I'm talking about with this because sometimes my brain goes faster than what I can explain and I might miss steps. I'm not sure. Um, <coughs> I, I think I have like ADHD. Because, um, yeah, my brain goes faster than what I'm able to explain. So, if I need to slow it down or step back a step or two, let me know, y'all. I, I want y'all to be able to do this, uh, this whole entire wreath. All right, so um, uh, did uh, anyway, I uh, do something nice for somebody, even if it's just a smile. A smile can change somebody's mood. I mean, even if you don't, if you see somebody who looks like they just having a really, really bad day, and you don't like anything that they've got on. I'm not saying to lie, because that ain't right. Make up something. Maybe you like the color, but not the style. I, I don't know, but compliment people. Um, I had to tell my husband yesterday to, to tell his mama... How good her hair looked. Because she got a haircut. And when he said that it looked good. She just smiled real big. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. Anyway. Uh, I feel totally horrible. But I will be back tomorrow to show y'all how to do the the tails on your bow. One way or the other. <laughs> I love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. Bye, y'all.